Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and uh, I want to start off by apologizing for being off the grid for a bit. I've been uh, enjoying the sun and enjoying my vacation but um, I'm back uh, and I'm going to start off with a whole new series of my tutorials. Now today I want to address a question that I got regarding the lattice tool. I want to explain what it is, what you can use it for, and you know what the general purpose is uh, of the tool. Okay, so in order to demonstrate that, I need to create a an object, any object. So I'm going to go to my polygons menu. I'm just going to create a simple sphere, something like that, and just hit W and pull it up a bit. Okay, hit five for shaded mode. Okay, so if I normally wanted to manipulate or model this sphere, I have a couple of ways of doing that. I can right click on the object, go to face mode, select the face, pull on that. I can right click and select an edge, pull on that. I can right click and go to a vertex, select a vertex and do that. But the lattice tool is, uh, I would say, something like a general sculpting to tool, especially if you want to prepare an object. Let's say you're doing a character model and you want to outline the rough shape of the head before you go into a program like ZBrush to work on the details, something like so. So instead of doing the face and the edge and all that stuff, we're going to create a lattice tool. So how do we do that? We're going to go to our animation tab here. Actually, make first sure that you have object mode selected, like so. Animation tab, create deformers, and select lattice. So now this box is created around my sphere. The box is not an object, it's a tool. Remember that, that's important. Now, I can uh, adjust the number of subdivisions in my tool. To do that, I'm going to go to my uh, FFD Lattice Shape tab in my Attribute Editor here. And I'm going to bump that up to, let's say, 6 by 6 by 6. Okay. So now I've got this box around my, uh, my sphere. Okay. So with this box, I can manipulate the sphere inside in a much faster and much general way than I would do that, you know, manipulating edges and faces and so on. Okay, so I got my lattice selected. I right click on it, and go to lattice point. And now you get vertices on my lattice tool. Okay, so let's say I want to create, I don't know, something like a shape down here. And I can select more or less depending on what I want. But what you see is if I start to pull on that, and I'll just zoom in so you can see that a bit better it starts to deform my sphere here in this area. What I'll do is I'll do a little bit of bigger manipulation so you can see it better. So I'm just going to create, a, uh, select a bunch of vertices here. Okay, huge, huge manipulation. And this turns your sphere into like a lump of clay. You can play with it, you can pull on it, etc. And you can create all sorts of weird shapes, right? Okay, so that's pretty much the point. Now, there's something neat about the lattice tool. Let's say I select my object inside, right, instead of the lattice tool, and I hit W and I start to move it out. What you see is my object turns back into my original sphere. And as soon as I pull it into my lattice, it changes. And when I pull it out again, again, it's my sphere. Now, what's the point of that? Let's say you're doing uh, an animation and you want this sphere to morph into a strange form and to morph back to a sphere. That's one of the things you can use it for. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So let's say you've been uh, manipulating the sphere into this beautiful piece of art or funny blob, whatever you want to call it, and you're done with your lattice tool. Okay. 
it's important that you remove the lattice tool. Otherwise, you can't move this object around because, as you just saw, it will turn back into the original sphere, right? So select your lattice tool. We're going to go to Edit, Delete All by Type, and History. Okay, now the lattice tool is gone. You can select your object, and you can move your object around, right? Okay. So that, in short, is what the Lattice Tool is, what you can use it for, and um, I suggest you play around with that. If you've got any questions, let me know, and uh, you know, likes and subscriptions are really appreciated. Thank you, and see you guys soon. Bye-bye.